Welcome to Selenium Master Video Tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to use Selenium 2 library keywords add cookie, get cookie value, and get cookies in Robot Framework Selenium Test Automation Script. When testing modern web applications, in some cases, you need to check cookie values or you need to check a list of cookies in the session or you need to define a cookie in your test. Selenium 2 library includes add cookie, get cookie value, and get cookies keywords. So you can use these keywords to interact with cookies in your test session. In this example, I will use the Mahara login test case as an example to explain how to use add cookie, get cookie value, get cookies keywords. In this example, I store username and user password as a session cookie and then get the cookie value of the username password and type in the username field and password field to login. So let's look at the actual application. This is the Mahara demo application site. In order to login, we need to type in username, password, and click on the login button. For username, we type in student1. For password, we type in testing1. We click on the login button. Now logout link is displayed. I click on the logout link and close the browser. So this test case is open browser, enter student1 in the username field, enter testing1 in the user password field, click on login button, and step 5 verify that logout link should display. Add cookie keyword is used to add a cookie to your current session. Name and value are required, path, domain, and secure are optional. And get cookie value returns value of cookie found with the name. Get cookies returns all cookies of the current page. Now let's look at the test script implementation. In the test project, I added a folder named login with cookie suite and I added a test suite cookie test suite. In this test suite, I imported the library Selenium to library. In robot framework test automation, it is a best practice that you always import a library at a test suite level. So in the cookie test, step one, open browser, demo.mahara.org website, and open with Firefox. Maximize browser window. We maximize the browser window. Wait until element is visible. We wait until the login button is visible. Now add cookies. So add cookie, add is a cookie to your current session, name and value are required, pass, domain and uh, secure are optional. So we add a cookie, name it valid username and value is student1. 
Next line is add cookie. Cookie name is valid password and value is testing one. Next line is get cookies. This will return all the cookies on the current page. This should return valid username and valid password. Now we use get cookie value. So get cookie value returns value of cookie found with name. So we have two cookies valid username and valid password. Get cookie value valid username and we get the valid username cookie value and assign it to a variable named username. Next one is get cookie value valid password. We get the cookie value valid password and assign it to a variable user password. And in the log, we log the username and user password. Now in the user name field, we input text username variable. Next line is input text id equal to login password. We enter user password in the user password field. Now click element id equal to login submit. So we click on login button. And next line is page should contain element. So after logging in, we need to verify that logout link is displayed. Now let's add another line here just for demonstrating purposes. But in actual tests, you don't need to use that. So after open browser, I add slip five seconds. So I can move the Firefox window on the recording screen. Now we need to run the script and observe the result. So I tagged the test case as cookie test. Now click on the run tab and only run test with this text cookie test. Now I click on start. So the browser now opened. And the test is completed. So let's look at the actual log file. Click on the log. The test suite is login with cookie suite. And test case is cookie test. And the documentation has all the steps in this test case. Now keyword open browser http colon slash slash demo dot mahara dot org with Firefox and opens a new browser instance to given URL. Uh, this opened the browser with Firefox. Slip five seconds and maximize browser window. Wait until element is visible. Now let's look at the keyword add cookie. So add is a cookie to your current session. To the current session, we added a cookie named valid username and value is student1. Next one is add cookie, valid password, value is testing1. Now let's look at the um, get cookies. Return all cookies of the current page. Now we use get cookie value. Cookie name is valid username. 
and valid username value is student1 so username variable equals to student1 next line is user password equal to get cookie value valid password valid password value is testing1 in this line testing1 was the value for the valid password cookie now we have username and user password variable So we log the username and password, student1, testing1. Input text, username and username. For the username field, we type in the username, student1. And in the password field, we type in the user password. Now click on the login submit button. Last line is an assertion for the test. Page should contain element link logout. So in this test suite, we have one test and test passed. So as explained in this example, you can use add cookie, get cookie value, and get cookies to manipulate cookies in your test cases or test suite. For written example, please visit www.seleniummaster.com website. Thank you for watching.